Rabin Square. This is the location of the rally being held Sunday evening by the right-wing parties of the Israeli national camp. Speakers include Naftali Bennett, head of the Jewish Home Party, Eli Shai of Yachad, as well as, above all and surprisingly, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The decision by the Prime Minister to attend a rally only two days before a national election may seem natural, but it is not something the organizers took for granted. Rabin Square is perhaps the most central and prominent stage for political rallies in Israel, lying at the heart of the country's largest metropolitan area. But there is no denying it has become a symbol of the Israeli left over the years. Only a week ago, this was the site of a rally dedicated to the Prime Minister's removal. The keynote speaker then was former Mossad chief Mayor Dagan, who worked under Netanyahu. For six years, Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu has been serving as Prime Minister. Now it has been six years in which Israel has never been the most stuck. In six years, he has not lived one real move to change the region and to create a better future. Back when it was known as Kings of Israel Square, this was where former Labour Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin gave the last speech of his life on November 4, 1995, at the height of the Oslo peace process. This rally must send a message to the Israeli people, to the Jewish people around the world, to the many people in the Arab world and the entire world, that the Israeli people want peace and support peace. For this, I thank you. Minutes later, Rabin was shot by right-wing radical extremist Igal Amir while leaving the location. He died at hospital later that night, and one week later, the square was renamed in his honor. Benjamin Netanyahu was Rabin's chief political rival during the late prime minister's final term in office. The Rabin family has blamed Netanyahu for contributing to the hostile atmosphere leading up to the assassination. The step being taken by this government, which has struck the heart of our country, the cradle of our civilization, does not have the benefit of a Zionist majority. Netanyahu has vehemently denied this responsibility, but has struggled with Rabin's political legacy throughout his career. Right-wing rallies have been held at Rabin Square, but Netanyahu has chosen to stay away in the past. The historical weight of the location, perhaps a deterrent. Some see the decision to come this time as a sign of the realization within Netanyahu's circle that everything is now at stake.